Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, and Carlos Alcaraz will be among the favorites to win the gold medal at the Paris Olympics. Nothing motivates Novak Djokovic like revenge and proving a point, which is why Boris Becker thinks he's the man to beat for Olympic gold. Becker spent three years as Djokovic's coach and was even linked with a return to the role when he split with Goran Ivanisevic earlier this year. But the Serbian's 13-6 singles record at the game's bears no relation to his 24 Grand Slam titles, a solitary bronze from 2008, his only return from four appearances, which also include two bronze medal match defeats. Becker was his coach in Rio, where he suffered a first-round loss and admits he'd never seen him so heartbroken, refusing to speak to his team for 48 hours. Roger Federer never won Olympic singles gold, though he did win the doubles in Beijing, and Djokovic has made no secret the next fortnight at Roland Garros was his priority for the season. When you've won everything there is to win, you want that thing that's not in your cabinet so badly, said Becker, who is part of the expert team for Discovery Plus, the only place you can watch all the Olympic tennis tournament. He could be president of Serbia, he is an icon in that country, and he wants to represent them on the world stage, and there is no better way to do that than the Olympics. I coached the Serbian team in Rio, and you can't imagine the expectation and pressure on him when he plays for his country. When he lost, it was probably the biggest disappointment of his career. He loves his country more than anything in the world outside his family, and that's just another reason why this Olympics is so important to him. Djokovic underwent surgery for the just the second time in his career, three weeks before Wimbledon, where he went down tamely in a one-sided final against Carlos Alcaraz.